My name is Jordan Brooks. Uh, I'm a 3L and a fourth year uh, medical student here at the University of Miami. And I'm currently a fellow with the Human Rights Clinic. Yeah, so uh, during my first year at the Human Rights Clinic, uh, we had primarily three projects. Uh, the first one was uh, a project looking at the Florida maternal and infant health crisis. Um, so we advocated locally um, to pass certain policies that would be able to alleviate the maternal and infant health um, crisis that we're experiencing here in Florida. Uh, the second project that we worked on was looking at the commercialization of healthcare in Kenya uh, and specifically looking uh, how it had changed and been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, so we were able to ultimately publish a report um, demonstrating our key findings uh, as it relates to commercialization of healthcare uh, in Kenya and uh, how that relates to um, creating reform and, and better uh, changes for the healthcare system uh, in Kenya. Uh, the last project we worked on was a project where we uh, did a documentary showing um, where I was able to moderate a panel on HIV and uh, the different um, leaders that have really played a role throughout the years in creating positive change uh, in health advocacy uh, for HIV, uh, and particularly the women that were involved uh, and we were able to have the filmmaker as well as doctors, lawyers, and really have an interdisciplinary discussion about how, you, you know, the past uh, reform efforts in the HIV uh, and health advocacy space and where we're going in the future. I would say uh, the Human Rights Clinic was one of my favorite experiences that I've had at law school. Uh, the reason being is that it allows... so. The, the key premise of the Human Rights Clinic is really to work in the international human rights space uh, and engage in multi-dimensional advocacy. Uh, I think for so long, many of us have, you know, seen the different problems in the world. And I think the Human Rights Clinic provided a space and skills to really be able to not only advocate in that space, but also to be very effective at advocating in that space. And it was very fun in, in the sense that they didn't, you know, the cool thing about the advocacy we do in the clinic is that it's not focused on one route. Uh, the, again, the key really is this multi-dimensional advocacy uh, strategy, which involves, you know, doing multiple things, whether it's documentary showings, publishing reports, uh, you know, working through the courts at the international level. Um, so gathering all these different skills um, while also being able to create a real impact on the world was you know, very awesome for me and a, a very rewarding experience and a very, um, you know, a lot, I learned a lot of skills from doing that as well. I think one of the big highlights uh, of my human rights experience um, was our first year, I had particularly worked on a project uh, around expanding access to midwives and doulas, uh, working with the Florida Health Justice Project and uh, other coalition members. Um, ultimately, we published a report for the Convention on the Elimination of, or I should say the Committee on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination, um, that we, you know, we, we published a shadow report, and then we, working with one of our advocacy partners, sent a midwife uh, to the United Nations in Geneva, and we were able to effectively um, make recommendations to the committee uh, that were ultimately reflected in its final uh, recommendations. So. It was very cool to see our work as well as the work of many advocates across the nation uh, in terms of expanding access to midwives and doulas um, be shown on such an international stage and uh, be able to really effectuate change here in the United States. Yeah, so I, I've learned a lot of things and I, I think, uh, you know, I would start with, uh, again, the, the multidimensional advocacy using various strategies from social media to interviewing to publishing reports to advocating in courts, um, using all of these skills to really be able to advance a cause. Uh, and for me particularly, I think it was a lot of application of things. Uh, so I know you learn about legal research. Uh, in my background as a uh, medical practitioner, I, I learned how to uh, conduct health research. Um, so being able to put that together and really uh, effectuate change, um, yeah, at a level of state and international, again, 
across this wide um, scope of different places um, and jurisdictions was very rewarding. Uh, and I gained a lot of skills from that. Uh, so yeah, I think there's a lot of skills uh, in the advocacy space that you use and ones that aren't traditionally maybe included in uh, other clinics or other spaces. I think if you're someone who, you know, really wants to advocate for a specific cause, I think, the, I mean, the human rights clinic works in particularly health, food, uh, you know, there's housing as well. Um, so those are some of the key spaces they work in. So if you're someone who has an ambition to really effectuate change in those areas, the, the clinic would be a great space for you. Uh, I think, um, you know, whether you really want to go into it as your career or you really just want a space to be able to address some of the things you see in the real world, uh, this is what the clinic really provides a space for. Uh, and I think the the skills you learn here are really um, universally applicable to a lot of different uh, areas of law. Uh, for instance, though we may not do traditional, uh, you know, legal services work for housing, you get to really see, for instance, the policies uh, and do an analysis of the policies that really um, play a role in housing. So I think these are skills and, and different uh, research and um, learning that you will get um, that could really help your career um, as a legal practitioner.